Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Jake DeReese here with you. Our weather headlines. We have a cold and dry day today, so make sure you're bundling up, but we're not expecting precip yet. That is what we're expecting tomorrow. We're tracking accumulating snow to start our weekend and our temperatures will still be cold throughout the weekend, but we'll start to see a warm up heading back to normal as we head into early next week. But today we have it pretty nice. It is cold to start us out. Look at that. Still in the upper teens this morning, but the sun will be making a few appearances today. We will be covered mostly by clouds by noon with temps starting to increase to in the upper 20s. And by the time we reach 5 p.m., we'll be at around our high of 36 degrees and we might see the sun again. So that should be nice right before we see the snow. There it is. Start to move through. Let's track it right now. This is, of course, Friday overnight at around 3 a.m. In the early morning hours tomorrow is when we're going to start to see the snow roll in and we just saw that move through and it's going to stay all day yes throughout most of the neighborhoods and bring us some snow accumulations this band that we're tracking is going to bring quite um, some higher precip rates for us and it's actually been tracking a little more north for some of our northern neighborhoods i'll break down totals in a second but after that going into monday that's going to be our next best chance to see some precip overnight monday into tuesday first possibly starting out with snow and then turning into a mainly rain event but we'll be tracking that very closely for you we want to talk about what is happening when we end our week and here's the totals for what we're going to be seeing tomorrow throughout the day on Friday. Notice how our southern neighborhoods might miss this as that big, big band there is really located in our northern neighborhoods in Perry, St. John's, two to four inches, possibly definitely going to affect some roads if they're cold enough since we are going to be in the 30s throughout the day. Some areas one to two inches, Eaton Rapids and Mason, and then some trace to about an inch for Jackson and other neighborhoods to the south. Now for March snowfall, we We've only observed three tenths of an inch here, and we are now over that hill of the month where the normal snowfall for Lansing in March is about six inches. Now we're not going to reach that, but we're definitely going to be seeing a big step towards that with the system as it moves through. And as we're also tracking early next week to possibly see some snow as well, we're definitely getting to our normal for our snowfall amounts. Now heading into tonight, like I was saying, snow showers are going to be getting late in tonight. So meaning early morning hours with lows around 25 degrees, so definitely able to have the snow fall and even possibly stick on the ground for areas for the morning commute since the gravel will be cold enough. Now winds won't be as gusty though, so if you are driving overnight and early in the morning, visibility shouldn't be too much of a concern for you. Now our super seven day forecast is going to show you this today. 35 degrees, mostly cloudy skies heading into Friday to start our week. That's when that snow is going to hit, but it'll end by Saturday morning comes with just flurries and high still in the mid to upper 30s, and then we'll start to to clear out by the time we reach early next week. Mostly cloudy skies at 51 degrees overnight, though. That's when we're possibly going to be seeing our next best chance for precip, and it's looking mainly like a possible flurry overnight, turning into rain during the day on Tuesday with a high of 53 degrees and then back around normal at 49 degrees and mostly sunny here on Wednesday.